I decided to make another video, but except more this time more on the um except this time it's going to be about the workers outside. Um I feel bad for them because um um number of reasons why I feel bad for them is because they came all the way from Ukraine. Um they were driving out of their home um by um you know Russia Russia um they have no home anymore. They got drove out entirely out of Ukraine. Um, they had to flee all the way west to the UK. Um, so now they're working in the snowy weather and such. Um, when I tried talking with them um, earlier, um, they couldn't speak English, um, unfortunately. Um, so, um, so apparently I'm offering um, tea and coffee tomorrow morning um for them um so that they have something to drink but we'd have to like use like sign language or something like that to communicate with them because again they don't speak english um so it means um you know taking out like um the coffee tin and showing sugar um or showing the coffee tin and showing coffee you know depending on which one they want out of the two uh, meaning if they want tea i actually show the tea bag and what if they want tea um so it kind of depends which one they'd want out of the two unfortunately um they are working in a a weather that's snowing at the moment it's freezing cold for them um so i feel bad for them because it's not good to, for them you know to struggle because this is why the reckon work overtime because um they have a family to feed they have a family to look after um which doesn't seem like good news um when they're struggling that hard to try and keep them you know keep their family together um so for what i basically know so far they probably had help moving from Ukraine to the UK um, because they were struggling um, because they were homeless so they needed a home or whatever so the only best bet would be out of the war zone um, so out of Ukraine so most likely the military um, like our military um, give them help to move to the UK where they'd be out of the war zone completely they'd have somewhere to live um, and such and they would be happier because they'd have no war um in the area so right now they're actually um happy to be out of the war right now but i reckon they'd probably suffer with um you know stress disorders and stuff like that now because of what happened in ukraine um you know what i mean because people that have been through a war they get like noise triggers they can't stand a lot of like noise i uh, don't know how they're gonna cope with fireworks because again fireworks is to do with too much stress um you know like when it's noisy and whatever so i reckon it'd probably be like that i reckon um but i actually really support the ukraines um i actually don't i, I actually feel bad for them i actually support them um Especially if they're struggling, um, because I want them to have peace um, for once. Um, I actually also support the war um, because I actually want Ukraine to win so they get their home back, um, which um, I'm hoping for, and I'm hoping for you um, for Russia to back off. You know what I mean? For Putin to surrender um, to them, so then he doesn't become the leader of russia anymore someone else becomes the leader of russia and they do not attack ukraine anymore um because because as far as i know right now since they're actually in the uk right now i actually have a feeling that if russia actually somehow do defeat ukraine they'll target at most countries that have ukrainians in it um that's what i'm basically thinking right now because it's kind of like what happened with the Germans, um, 
you know what I mean, with World War One and Two. Um, it's kind of like how we protected um, the Jews um, from, um, you know, from slavery and such and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of similar. Um, so it's kind of like we're kind of like in a repeat where we protect them. Um, you know what I mean? So, so the explanation was that um, you know that. Um, Back in the day, Germans actually were um, the ones doing the war, um, back in the old days. They actually um, used the French, uh, which is part of my family, um, the French actually are part of my family. Um, so they actually did use the French for like food supplies and stuff like that. They did capture the Jews in order to be like slaves and whatever, um, and anyone that actually worked with the Jews and whatever killed unfortunately um they'd be slaughtered or worse um they'd be captured and taken into the military itself and they'd be slaughtered in there or forced to work even though they can't speak english um you know what i mean stuff like that um since um since they'd probably do something like that um um okay so back to the matter of russia versus ukraine um so you know, at the moment, I, some Russians are okay, so at most are not. It uh, depends on the leader, really. Um, now, the leader, I know Putin, he's not a very nice guy. Um, he doesn't care about, you know, people that are struggling to survive um, and such. I mean, after all, Putin was the one that clicked the finger to destroy schools, clicked the finger to destroy hospitals and such. Um, that was his doing. Um, he destroyed Ukraine's life, um, they're struggling right now, um, like the ones out the front right now, they're actually still working, unfortunately, they're, yeah, so people like this, they're forced into a job that they have to work overtime to try to survive, um, on, otherwise they'll die of starvation, um, and that's what they're going through right now, um, so at least the UK is a bit more open to help them um, whenever they're struggling because we've got like care homes, we've got like um, churches and stuff like that. We've got like, you know, we've got a lot of stuff to help people because that's what the British are usually main for it, the, for helping people that are struggling. Because there has been many times we've helped people um, in the past. so. We actually always take in migrants in, um, you know, in, you know, whenever they're struggling or something, they just move over from another country because of that. Um, you know, because when, when they're struggling, they move over from another country, um, if there's like a war zone. Um, so I kind of feel bad for that because um, going through a war zone, I could just apparently imagine it in my mind. Um, It'd be absolute terror um, to go through something like that. Um, so I'm hoping the um, the Ukrainians eventually win the war, um, win back their freedom, their home, um, everything. Um, the ones that are in Ukraine right now. Um, but for the ones that are here, um, they'd have no choice since they're already here. They'd have to have no choice but to live here and have to learn English as well, since that would be able to get them by. Um, and I'll, basically, learning English is a good language um, to learn if you want to communicate. They could actually also, you know, make more friends and stuff like that. Because from what I know from Ukrainians, they're actually really nice people um, from what I've seen so far in videos and whatever. Um, they're actually not mean people at all. Um, they're just kind of misunderstood, like the Jews, you know what I mean? Um, like, not that many people get to know them that well. Um, because I actually feel really bad for them and I don't want them to suffer. And this is why they're setting up their broadband, which I reckon is a Ukrainian broadband. Um, so I don't mind them actually moving in and living um, since they finally have peace most of them that actually the ones for the actually that did move from like ukraine to the uk so 
that was a good option for them um, to move because they finally have somewhere to live. Um, for some, some probably moved straight to America, I reckon. Um, you know, ones that wanted to move a bit further away. Um, but, you know, I'm actually happy that um, Ukrainians actually want more people to talk to um, and whatever. So that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, communicating with, um, you know, like tea or um, the coffee thing to them, um, the workers. So to see if they want coffee or tea, um, depending on what they want, really. Or even um, a hot chocolate, depending on what they want out of it. Um, you know what I mean? Like, either one of the two, they'd be probably be fine with, I reckon. Um, so, at least then, they'd have something to drink. Um, especially in this cold weather. Um, so, yeah. Um... So, if so, for an, for anyone in any other country, if 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 you see like the Ukrainians that have just fled from another country or whatever, help them out. Um, yeah, help them out with like um anything you can really offer, like tea, coffee, hot chocolate, you know, stuff like that. So like drinks that are like hot to them to drink. Um in this time of need um they definitely need it um so stuff like that would really help them so yeah so apparently just help them whenever they actually want it and whatever um and talk with them especially use a translator if you can't speak that language um i mean so then they'd be able to understand what you're trying to tell them um and they would also get to know English as well, since they'd get to learn to speak English um, in the end. Um, so yeah, um, and also for the ones that actually do speak English, um, you know, the ones that are actually, you know, that Ukrainians but do speak English, um, speak others to speak English as well um, so that they can learn um, that language so that they can speak to other people um, especially like ones that are sh like the ones that are like in the shops and whatever because you know most of us speak English so it would make sense to the communicate with English language or whatever um, or another piece of advice for the Ukrainians that can't speak English, use a translator, um, like on Google or something like that, um, to communicate. At least then, you know, people would be able to communicate back with a translator. Um, so then it would sound like in, in, in their language. Um, so at least that would be easier to communicate with them a bit better. Uh, even though the translator can go off a bit wrong sometimes, um, they'd probably understand that because the translator can be messed up sometimes, depending on what you say. Um, so, so yeah, help them out with that, with the talking thing, um, as well as take them to, like, English lessons, um, you know what I mean? To, like, get them to speak proper English, um, and whatever. Um, you know, stuff like that, um... So, um, so yeah, just learn them or whatever, um, and such, so then they'll learn, and, you know, to be part of our society, um, and, like, our region and stuff like that. So, so yeah, um, so, to the Ukrainians, I still support you, I still support what you're doing, um, and such, especially if you live in a different country now, um, I still support you no matter what or where you are, um, what you do, uh, especially ones in the war and whatever, still support you. Um, hoping you win your, you know, your freedom, um, or whatever and have no regrets whatsoever, you know, stuff like that, you know, no issues, no problems. Um, like no problems at all, um, in the end. And able to do what you wanted finally in life um to the fullest and and set up businesses and stuff like that whatever you want really um and search to get you started so so yeah support ukraine